Rachel with Koa, and today he and I are going to be doing a 10 minute video practicing drop it and leave it. Now, there's an important distinction between drop it and leave it. Drop it is when before he touches some, or excuse me, leave it is before he touches something, and drop it is after he already has something in his mouth. Um, drop it is really useful. Um, for you know anything around the house, if you want to be playing fetch with Koa to tire him out, if you don't want to have to you know yank the ball or the rope out of his mouth, you want to uh, him to give it up easily. You can use drop it then, and also if uh, you can use that if he gets his mouth on anything valuable to you, or you don't want him to eat it or chew it up or especially something that would be dangerous to him, to where it would be um, harmful to him if he were to chew it up or eat it, anything like that. So that's when you use drop it. Now with leave it, we don't, um, don't use leave it for things that he will get later. Leave it means don't touch it now, don't ever touch it, it is completely off limits. So if, um, you know, say Cole were my dog and I were coming home and I take off my shoes and he starts sniffing them, I would tell him to leave it because he is never supposed to pick up or chew on my shoes. Um, an instance where you don't use leave it is if you're going to feed Koa and you tell him to leave it while you put the food down and, you know, make him wait so he isn't jumping all over you and then tell him uh, it's okay to get it. You don't want to use leave it like that because he will get it eventually. So, don't use leave it for any of his food, treats, or his toys. You want him to know that those are for him. And the reason why this is so important is because once he really learns to leave it, once you tell him leave it, he knows that it's not a matter of just waiting until he gets it. He'll understand that he isn't ever allowed to have it. If you tell him to leave it for a toy and then later start playing with him with that toy, that's going to be confusing to him. So, uh, leave it is for things you don't ever want him to have. Drop it can be for anything because you can use it to get him to drop something you don't want him to have or to drop a toy and continue playing with the toy. So, first of all, he and I are going to go over leave it with some objects that Koa has no business ever having. And I'll show you how to practice leave it with him. I have some random objects that won't be harmful at all to Koa if he doesn't listen to me and does pick them up. But they are definitely not toys, so he should get the distinction that he's not supposed to have them. So, first thing, get him up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him standing up. And at first, while we're practicing, I'm going to be down on my knees. I'm going to put this dry board eraser um, on the ground and when he goes to sniff it, I'm going to swipe my hand between his nose and the eraser and say leave it. Now by doing this, it kind of interrupts his line of vision and it kind of startles him and so usually dogs kind of, you know, react by falling their head back. And so I'm just going to keep on telling him to leave it and doing that as many times as it takes for him to stop going after or to look up at me so that he understands he's not supposed to have it and he's waiting for what I'm going to tell him next. So, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come here. Good boy, come here. Come on, come on. All right, sit. Let's sit. Good boy, okay. Hopefully. 
hopefully Carl will be more interested in this new one. Lots of praise for doing a good drop it. 
That way if he ever grabs something that you really don't want him to have and he's not supposed to have, you can tell him drop it and he'll associate drop it with good things. So uh, this was Rachel and Koa and we are going over drop it and leave it.